To use regression or to use ANOVA? That is the question. You may not realize there is a choice in default to ANOVA when testing for differences in means between three or more groups. But when your groups are formed by a numeric variable, it is often better to use regression. Let's go through an example where both tools are used. Consider a chemical experiment where the reaction rate of a substrate is measured at three different temperatures. Here we have three balanced groups, which seems to indicate ANOVA is the right tool for comparing group means. The ANOVA p-value of 0.0578 indicates there is no significant difference when testing at the 0.05 significance level. However, the ANOVA graph clearly shows an increasing trend. Since the grouping variable temperature is quantitative, it makes sense to consider regression. Instead of testing for differences between means, regression tests for an increasing or decreasing trend. If this trend is significant, it indicates the mean reaction rate increases or decreases going from low to high temperature. In our data set, the regression p-value of 0.0151 indicates there is a significant trend. The regression graph shows this trend line, which is clearly increasing. Performing regression in this scenario allowed us to find a significant difference, whereas ANOVA did not. Regression has more power than ANOVA to find differences when there is a linear trend. And when the trend is nonlinear, regression is still a good choice, but you would need to fit a quadratic model. Music